but this is actually <coughs> the last game of the night. So we're going to jump into it anyway. Just going to have to get some... Uh, Sweet. So let's get this, uh, this shared out. Take a look at the uh, at the draft at this point. So looking at uh, <coughs> looking at the teams right now, Invictus Gaming came off a uh, a pretty big win over uh, Keen Gaming. They're gonna have their work cut out for them with uh, with IGV or with uh, VGJ Thunder. I think uh, Keen Gaming did put up a bit of a fight, but not quite uh, as much. As we're gonna see from VGJ Thunder, VGJ Thunder, you know, uh, one of the kind of bigger teams in this in this lower bracket. This is what we talked about when we were talking about not wanting to drop to the lower bracket because there's a lot of competition down here. Uh, VGJ Thunder is one of those teams. Just try to hide the logo off that as much as possible. Dire teams turn. I see the, uh, <coughs> oh shit, I thought I dropped my water. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to see the Tiny, the uh, Bounty Hunter, as well as the Clockwork Band uh, on the side of VGJ, and the Medusa, Ten seconds left. <coughs> the Medusa, the Omni Knight, and the um, Night Stalker Band out on the side of IG. And we'll see the first pick here going the way of uh, VGJ Thunder, what they decide to go for. So far, it's been a trend in this uh, in this tournament that one team picks Radiant teams turn to pick. <laughs> right click heroes. The other team goes for more of a uh, more of a team fight orientation. So, curious to see how these two teams line up. I think in terms of uh, of play styles that I've actually watched, uh, these two teams are the uh, probably the closest. So, see what we end up getting. Five seconds remaining. The first pick is going to be the Tusk, followed quickly by, ooh, going to be the Death Prophet. I mean, that combination, we talked about this uh, in a couple other games, uh, the Tusk combination with the Death Prophet or the uh, the Razor, pretty deadly, getting that uh, that snowball roll forward, still have the Soul Siphon uh, on 10 heroes or the Static Link, as well as catching uh, heroes out in those shards. They might still be able to walk out and around the shards, but that's, a, that's some negative displacement towards the side of yeah, Invictus Gaming and that gives uh, Death Prophet more time to soul siphon these uh, these enemy heroes teams turn to ban. and the pickup for VJ Thunder is going to be Disruptor so going to try and counteract the, uh, the big hits from uh, from Invictus Gaming and in the last game the uh, the Static Storm was a uh, was a pretty remaining. big ultimate Available in the uh, in the team fight, so you can imagine Five see that be uh, be a pretty big impact here as well. Uh, that silence for the death prophet though might cause some problems for them, as outside of their abilities, uh, neither of these these heroes have much uh, much use. <coughs> it's all about timing as well. If you don't get this, <laughs> if you don't get the static storm down. Uh, with enough time, you really aren't uh, aren't going to get much. Five seconds remaining. So you can see the razor band out for Victus Gaming, but VGJ Thunder taking their time with this band. About a minute thirty-six left in reserve time. Teams turn to ban. Ten 
10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <coughs> IG doing the same thing, taking their time with these, uh, with these ba <coughs> with these bands. I think it's important to both these teams. They get off to a good start. Uh, <laughs> the winner of this game plays E home in the semifinals and a shot at the uh, at the finals for the qualifier against LGD. So definitely not uh, not something to be squandered. And they're definitely going to want to put their best foot forward, especially in game number one, as uh, we've seen a lot of two O's this this uh, this qualifier. Gonna ban out the uh, gonna ban out the jug. I think it's more of a respect ban than uh, than anything against this uh, these lineups. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. We'll see who VGJ Thunder decide to go for with their final ban of this uh, the second banning phase. We'll start to see the uh, the picks roll out as well. It does come down to the weekend where there's like a bunch of games to cast <clears throat> that might I'd be losing my uh, my voice. Oh, that's cutting off my head. So it's gonna be the Legion Commander who who does get banned out. It's still cutting off my head. Ten seconds remaining. It's still cutting off my head. Dire team's turn to pick. There we go. That'll work. <laughs> and so, <coughs> alright, if this keeps up, I'm gonna have to cut. Because, like, I almost can't. <laughs> <coughs> I can't talk. Tidehunter gonna be the next pick, uh, the third pickup for Invictus Gaming. Adding uh, that extra depth for them. I think if they had picked up the Razor, they banded themselves, but if they picked up the Razor with this Tidehunter, uh, that would have been a pretty big pickup for them. But um, if they run anything like the, uh, the Dragon Knight. In uh, in mid, that would be uh, that would be pretty ideal for them uh, in terms of this team fight. A lot of lockdown potential uh, and area of effect. Uh, yeah, so AOE damage with uh, the exorcism from the Death Prophet and the Tide Hunter control with the Ravage. Uh, but so they're gonna need something equally as deadly on BGA Thunder side, and that's exactly what they're gonna get in the Luna. So that that eclipse we saw in um, in game number one of Invictus Gaming's uh, Invictus Gaming and Keen Gaming, uh, Luna's able to, ability to run over Ten seconds heroes with uh, with the eclipse. Five seconds left. Don't freeze up. So about a minute left in reserve time. You can see both teams again taking uh, taking all the time they need before making these pickups. This uh, this next this <coughs> excuse me this next pickup for Invictus Gaming going to be pretty important because it's going to control how they uh, how they pick their fourth pickup. But it's going to be the Oracle. And I see more Oracle today than I've seen in uh, all of the games I've been able to cast. I mean, Oracle will be a, a pretty big pickup here for the with the disarm as well as the um, as well as the false promise running into something like the Luna Alt, uh, just maybe getting whoever has the false promise down on them to tank tank a lot of that damage uh, and still be able to dish out damage uh, within the uh, within the ultimate without having like worry about dying, and then uh, if you guys if they can heal them up in time, they will. If not, at least he got a chance to dish out um, some backfire damage. A little bit here. We're going to see the Faceless Void come out for VGJ Thunder. Immediately going to ban out the Tinker on Invictus, realizing that's uh, 
Gonna need a, a mid hero here. And VCJ Thunder gonna go for their final ban of this game number one. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Team's turn to pick. All right, <laughs> the final ban from VGJ Thunder is gonna be the Huskar. Ban <laughs> out the Huskar. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Unbelievable. <coughs> and last pick of the game is going to be the Queen of Pain. Uh, Invasion's game are running the Queen of Pain in game number uh, game number three of their series against uh, Keen Gaming. And it worked out well for them. So we'll see how it works out against them in uh, in this game number one. And Invictus Gaming is going to take their time with this last pick of, uh, <laughs> of this game number one. Ooh. This can't continue. This really can't continue with my voice like this. Ah. I like the team fight that uh, that Invictus Gaming are building, though. I think it could be. Uh, it could be pretty big if they get a good strong right click here, and uh, that's exactly what they're gonna get. Uh, picking up the Sven as their uh, as the carries he Gezo picking up onto him, and um, but you know looking at the uh, looking at the lineup for VGJ Thunder, I think they provide a little more menace in uh, in overall play. So we're gonna have to uh, gonna keep an eye on that and see how it ends up working out. But well, let's get the uh, the lineups for your two teams. Invictus Gaming's lineup for game number one. Bobica going to be playing on your Tusk. OP going to be playing the Death Prophet. XXS will be playing your Tidehunter. Q on the Oracle and Gaze of Death on the Sven. For VGJ Thunder, Fade will be playing your Elder Titan. AO on the Disruptor. Silar on your Luna. Yang will be playing your Faceless Void. And Kama will be playing the Queen of Pain. And... Uh, the uh, role of caster is going to be played by the raspy chip 14. <coughs> Please don't mind the coughing every so often. <laughs> but we'll get you guys into game number one right away and get started in this quarterfinal of the Bucharest Major. And let's see what um, let's see what these teams can do. Instead of pause. Hey, all right, guys. Sorry, uh, gonna have to do this. I we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go. I can't like, oh, this breathing in is actually killing my voice. I can feel it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna rest up because uh, there's a lot of games tomorrow, and if I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using my my voice. I definitely wanna be able to cast the uh, the games for the uh, for the captain's draft tomorrow. But uh, I promise you guys, I will be here for game uh, for the semifinals uh, between um, E Home and the winner of this series. So keep me up to date. Let me know what ends up happening, and uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's midday cast. But for now, 
I'm going to drop off. So if you're still sticking around, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I just appreciate you being here, and I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully with a better voice. God damn.